Whenever you look at something like OpenStack, right, which is a large kind of orchestration, you know, infrastructure as a service framework, what you recognize is a lot of those things run into scale problems at the boundary. We wanted to understand what is it really like for in the to walk in the customer's shoes. What is it like to scale up to something that's kind of production, you know, scale? And so what we did is we talked to the Dell team and the Red Hat team and said, "Hey guys, what do you think?" And they said, "Yeah, we want to do the same thing. So let's do it." We were able to take 300 nodes and uh, utilize a lot of uh, Ansible and automation to deploy the network uh, for the purposes of deploying it in a you know a quick time frame and being able to spin that up. That was one of the great things about the project is we, we were able to prototype the entire thing uh, utilizing virtual machines um, both on the on the OpenStack platform side as well as utilizing Cumulus VX. We were able to simulate the entire thing including the automation scripts uh, using Cumulus VX and, and uh, Red Hat VMs. So we had a lot of confidence when we actually got access to the lab that everything would just work and it did. So this lab is, consists of about nine racks uh, with uh, functionality of uh, using uh, enough power to run about uh, 36 to 40 servers in the same rack. Each rack had two S4048-ON, yes. and those are the pairs of topper rack switches. And we had six s 6000 ON so 24 switches total, and then about 300 servers total. This lab is uh, based out of Santa Clara, but it is remotely accessible. We weren't on site at Dell's lab, and the Red Hat people were, I don't know where they were, but it wasn't California. <laughs> and actually for half the project, I was on vacation in Colorado. So we were able to do everything uh, remotely. I mean, we were running Ansible on our laptops over a VPN into this lab environment. So, you know, we could have been anywhere in the world. Uh, we were able to kind of prototype the Ansible playbooks, which were critical in being able to uh, sort of post deployment, configure the networking on the host side. Um, there's no uh, native layer three fabric with the OpenStack platform director out of the box, but we were able to utilize some relatively straightforward Ansible playbooks to deploy Quagga, configure Quagga, and get the connectivity that we needed into the layer three fabric. So I'm not a uh, traditional networking guy, I'm more of an infrastructure and, and deployment. So when we're building out um, you know, things like layer three down to the, to the core and, and building out these switches and stuff like that, uh, being able to utilize tools I'm more comfortable with such as Ansible and, and more of a DevOps made it really simple and was really quick to deploy that system. The open networking solution is a great solution for our customers. The next generation of uh, open networking solutions with uh, server storage networking all part of the same package and they'd be able to run all of this based on open networking standards. Very straightforward. Um, you know, it's, it's simple, it's powerful and it's easy to do. This is something they could just take and stand up. This you know, design is fully deployable uh, at scale. We, you know, we tested up to 301 servers.